Injury which left him in a coma, self-taught artist Byron Ekstien had to relearn how to make sense of the world and in doing so immersed himself in creative expression. His new body of multimedia works is currently on exhibition under the theme The Machine in My Head at the Ava New Media Room in Cape Town and is available for public viewing until the 27th of February. While the man behind the multicolored canvases joins us from our studios in Cape Town to tell us more about uh, this project. Byron, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you so much for making the time to uh, come chat to us so early. I understand that you're a self-taught artist. Let's perhaps start with how you discovered this passion that you have for art. Um, hello, good morning. Good morning, Cape Town, South Africa. Uh, thank you for inviting me on the show. Um, I don't know if I discovered it, or it discovered me, in a sense that like it's, it was like a calling. Um, it's just like something I had to do, and I, I remember from an early age, like five years old, I just couldn't stop drawing and thinking about art and making art and stuff. Um, so, yeah, it's like a calling, I would say. Hmm. How would you? To me. How would you describe the work that you produce, Byron, and what are some of the different techniques that can be seen in your work? Um, well, focusing on, on, on the machine in my head exhibition at the AVA, um, that sort of style of painting is, is like a amalgamation of shapes and colors um, and patterns that I formulated like I have an idea because like, when I got knocked over and when I came back out of into society out of a coma and my head sort of coming out of being in, in trauma um, I absorbed as a self-defense mechanism I absorbed everything into color and shapes and colors um, to understand my my um, surroundings and everything was absorbed in shape and color so I just started drawing shapes and colors and these different shapes and colors. I mean, and um, you could say that the work there currently that's on show now is like reflections of those shapes and colors. They're not directly what I, what I see when I close my eyes because mm. it's very difficult to translate that, but it's like indirect translations of um, those shapes and colors that I see. And let's talk about um, the uh, inspiration, Byron, behind the uh, body of work that you are currently exhibiting at the me new media room. Um, I'm not directly inspired by something like some artists are inspired by the mountain or by the sunset um, or by social political events or something like that. I'm indirectly inspired by things like mainly me like metaphysics and social behavior and like um, certain patterns that I, that I pick up in like a day-to-day -day life and I use that to create like method methodology in my work. A lot of my work is like almost like hieroglyphics in a way I can I can directly translate what it is what I'm talking about in there um, but then directly in inspired, I would say like, you know, graffiti um, has directly inspired me and certain like classical art, like uh, artists, Michelangelo, the old classics, um, sculptures, a little bit from little everywhere, I would suppose, things that would inspire me and then get stored in my mind. Um, but I'm not directly like, uh, I want to be a, a Cubist artist or um, I want to be Impressionist, so I'm be inspired by one of those greats. So it's just amalgamation of everything that I've, uh, I've been absorbing, basically. And take us through um, some of the themes that you explore through this exhibition and perhaps some of the messages that you are driving through this particular installation. No, I, so, so, the, so the, the ins, it's an installation piece where I've got into the media room and I've painted the entire media room 
and I've got a sound piece playing that I did, I recorded. I'm, I'm a poet, so it's my poetry of a piano piece which was in collaboration with an artist, pianist called um, Jan Haus. And it's various, it's various sorts of things. I'm more interested in discussing the, the, the darkness of one's mind and subconsciousness. Um, so when I was, when I'm painting, when I was painting and when I am painting that space, that, um, there's very different spaces of my mind that I entered that could range from euphoria to like complete angst. Um, and it's just an exploration into that because I, I like the ambiguity of the work being that um, people have their own translation of the work when viewing it. So the work's mainly supposed to speak to the, to the viewer's subconscious and then through that they, um, they create their own definition of it. I'm not necessarily stating, I don't want to state anything about my work. Um, so I don't say like, oh no, it's, it's, it's for X and Y reasons or I want to bring this message across or that message across. I quite like the fact that like the work shouldn't try and in encapsulate the viewer and um, work with the viewer and the viewer should like come to a dialogue with the work and then approach me with that dialogue because then I can learn about the work more. All right, uh, Byron, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you. We appreciate you coming on the show. From our Seapoint Studios, we just spoke to visual artist uh, Byron Mastole Ekstien, and he's been speaking to us about his project, The Machine in My Head, that is currently exhibiting at the AVA New Media Room in Cape Town and will be on show until the 27th of February. We are going to uh, take a quick uh, break. Uh, when we come back, it's no ordinary Saturday. Uh, Miss Universe, Zorzabini Tunzi.